Hey guys, I uh, thought that I would try something a little different and try to get back into something that I used to do before and that was kind of get into some tutorial videos and things that I kind of like to talk about. And one of the things that I really started to love was Plex. And if you guys have never heard of this, basically what it is is it's a media streaming app that you can use to broadcast your content over the internet. It's kind of like the same idea as Netflix, only you create the library. So if you've ever kind of been upset with Netflix about how certain things come and go, um, or even you don't like paying a monthly fee, uh, with Plex, you don't have that to worry about that. It actually, uh, you can get most features built in for free. You can pay for an app if you'd like to, and you do get more benefits from it. But otherwise, all your content is available similarly to Netflix. It'll broadcast over the internet, and you can access it from pretty much anywhere you'd have a data connection. So getting into that, it's pretty easy to start up and actually get going. All you have to do is go to plex.tv here. Um, you're greeted by the launch page. And all you got to do is just find the download link right here at get the Plex app on your device. Uh, what's really cool about Plex is Plex is available on almost every single platform you can imagine, uh, including Windows, obviously, but also on a lot of game consoles, on your PS4, on your Xbox, on uh, not on your Switch, because I don't think the Switch does pretty much any of that kind of stuff but uh pretty much every major operating system and setting up is super easy i already have my account but the reason why i'm doing this this way is because recently i've reformatted my uh, computer my little uh hard drive uh server farm and i gotta reinstall it so i figure i'd make a video out of this so once you've downloaded it all you gotta do is just install it it's really easy you just go through the actual installer and hopefully this doesn't take too too long cool you can pretty much just say hey install and it will do all the work for you until that UAC kicks in so what's really cool about this and what I really like about it is that you can remotely control a lot of things in the settings as well including updates and uh, broadcasting who can actually get it so like Netflix, uh, I know that I steal my uh, my buddy's password and have his account information for Netflix. I don't pay for it. I hardly ever use it because, quite honestly, I'm only interested in certain things. And maybe I'm a little bit more narrow-minded and just a little bit more laser-focused than some other people. But what uh, one of the things that one of the features that I enjoy most about Plex is that if you and some of your friends have it, you can actually sh link accounts. Um, as family and you can actually share the libraries of each other's accounts. So if you have a, a friend or a family member who uh, is into different things, um, it just is a way of increasing your library. So that's a really cool feature that I absolutely love. And this is going to take a minute. I know this computer is actually really slow to do it and you know it's not necessarily great what's good about you know just using this as a, a server farm as a media server is that it doesn't take a lot of computer power to actually you know broadcast that information um this thing's got a really small uh pentium uh pentium processor in it uh so it's it's fairly low end but you don't need much really the major uh the major hiccup is how many hard drives and how much capa how much capacity i can actually hook into this thing um, is really the only thing that really matters to it. Now, what's really cool about this too is that if you like to watch, you know, videos, or, uh, yeah, your videos in bed, um, use your tablet or your phone, you absolutely have that option. Um, you don't necessarily have to use the Plex app. Um, because if you're using it on a mobile operating device, you would have to pay for it. But you can use any DMCA, um, or not DMCA, uh, DLNA uh, supported app. So let's just fire this up and actually get it going here. So you can see install is real easy. I literally clicked one button. It did everything for me. The setup is a little bit more, you know, uh, in depth. You just got to point to where your media actually is. 
um, but everything will parse through automatically. It'll tag things for you if it's in there. Um, it does a whole lot of things for you automatically. It's kind of like Cody um, in that you can use it as a, uh, a content aggregator. Um, you can use it for live TV, I believe, as well. And there are DVR features. I've never used them. But that's just because for me personally, I just I just use the uh, the free version. And because I've already signed in, it's basically going to do everything for me. I hope. Yes, please sign in. I may not close this window. That is nice. Aha, here we go. So you can see, you can pay for it monthly, you can pay for it yearly, or you can just buy it outright. Um, you don't necessarily have to, but you do get a couple other extra features out of here. You get automatic uploads, you get live TV and DVR if you have access to uh, a tuner and antenna. Um, and you can also sync it right to your uh, mobile device for free, but you don't necessarily have to do any of that. You can also use it on a NAS, uh, which is basically a remote hard drive that is just networked into your uh, home network. Um, So this is the media server. This is actually the part here that I wanted to actually install um, before I was installing the media player. Um, so that was my mistake, but it's basically the same sort of thing. You just click install, you let it do its thing, and hopefully this should just run uh, and install the way I want it to. Now, what's really good is the media player is not needed at all. Um, they do have a web portal so you can just log in on their website and browse through that. Um, you can also browse through any DLNA uh, enabled application um, on your phone or on your video game console or um, pretty much anything else that, that uses that. Um, you can stream music to it, uh, through it. Uh, you can stream video content. Um, you can stream almost anything off of it, which is really, really nice. Okay, now that it's done, we can launch it, and hopefully this is what I'm, uh, it'll do the things that I want it to do now. Updating library. We're there, fella. We're there, people. Okay, so you can see that this little guy lives in the corner of my, uh, my desktop now. If you open it up, you get right into the web portal, which is pretty much how you control everything. Um, you can actually access it with an IP directly for your own uh, your own server. Um, so typing this in would not get you to mine. This would just be a network thing where uh, this would be a, a relative address on your own same network. But if you know how to do something like that, you can configure it and it is really cool to do. I'm going to close some of these tabs because this computer is super slow.
Okay. So basically that just says that it's going to always run, which is exactly what we want it to do, because that's how you access your content. Now I just have to point it to the content and tell it what I want. Nope, I don't want any of that. So you do want to allow access to your media outside your home if that's what you want. You can disable that if that is not something that you do want um, for privacy reasons, obviously. So yes, I absolutely want to add a library. So you have your library types here. Um, obviously, I'm just going to point to where movies are. I'm going to name it movies. I'm going to add my folders. And because I also have TV shows there, I'm going to add that in one more time because it will separate and it will differentiate, which is kind of nice. And I believe I also have one more spot for it. So because I also have another folder with TV shows and with other video on it. I'm going to open those up as well. Once that's done, you can see that it's going to parse through things right on the bottom where it's getting all the metadata. You can download other apps. But for now, we're just kind of have a finish. And you can see some of the things that are already starting to populate. All your libraries are going to be right in here. You can add additional plugins, uh, other, uh, other functionality. There probably isn't a whole lot showing here because everything's being updated and I just threw everything kind of in. Um, but what's really cool is if you go to, this is my settings right here. You can go to users and you can go to friends and you can actually invite friends to share libraries. And this is one of the, the best features about having Plex because if you have stuff in your library and your friend has other stuff and you guys want to actually be able to combine those, you're essentially able to do so. Um, and it just makes kind of having like a free Netflix all on your own without having to pay for it. So now that everything's more or less set up kind of the way I want it to, all you have to do if you want to actually watch things from your computer um, if you have on your video game console, you can just log into the app. It's really simple. It'll mostly just give you a code. You just plug that into your web browser, you pair your account, and then you're good to go. I've already done most of that kind of work already, but if I'm on my computer and I want to watch, all I got to do is just go to launch. And it'll load up pretty much everything I have in my library. Things are still parsing through, so not everything is there, but I can just click something. And what's really cool is you get an entire kind of all the info about the show. You got Rotten Tomato score. You get other things, the genre, actors that are in it. You can pull up re trailers, related movies, other things that you might like that are all in your library. And if you want to actually just play it, you just click it and it should load up. And then you're good to go. And it's the same thing as Netflix in the same sort of vein. And awesome program i highly recommend checking it out if you are looking at getting into media serving at all um one of the best programs out there thanks guys